Hello, it's Glamity Deanna uh, with my next video in my cookbook series that I'm doing, my Betty Crocker picture cookbook from 1950. So we're still on the confections, easy confections for children. Um, and today's is super easy. It's basically just um, melted chocolate chips mixed with Wheaties so I'm not sure you can get any easier than that um, I've already started I got my makeshift double boiler here and I am melting my chocolate chips they're getting pretty melty uh, I'm gonna turn it on a little um, so while those are melting I think I'm gonna give them a little stir here to see how they're doing Oh yeah, they're almost ready. So, I got the chocolate chips in there melting and I was just going to read a little more now on the meanings of terms in this cookbook. It says, this page gives the meaning of terms in this book. It's here to help you be a prize cook. They're always so rhymy. It's funny. It's cute. Okay, so sugar. Fine, white, granulated sugar. Unless otherwise specified in the recipe. Salt. Cooking salt. In cloth sacks. I don't know if you can get salt in cloth sacks anymore. <laughs> but that's what they're talking about in this cookbook. Um, it's cheaper and stronger than table salt. Uh, chocolate, unsweetened baking chocolate. If sweet chocolate or bits or pieces are required, it will state in the recipe. For example, in the Wheaties Tinglings recipe that I'm making today, it says semi-sweet chocolate pieces. So it's specified today and I'm using, of course, chocolate chips. Uh, and then gold medal flour, gold medal kitchen tested enriched flour, the country's most popular brand of all purpose flour. Recipes in this book, except cake recipes, have been perfected for gold medal flour only. It's very important. <laughs> soft, soft a silk cake flour, specially milled from selected soft winter wheats to make exceptionally delicious, fine textured cakes. Milk, fresh sweet milk, unless otherwise indicated. Uh, buttermilk and sour milk may be used interchangeably. Too old of milk has a disagreeable flavor. Molasses would mean dark molasses. If black New Orleans molasses is specified, ask your grocer for black strap. Spices and flavorings, high quality always, for flavor and dependability. Wheaties, the crispy, whole wheat flakes, nationally known as breakfast of champions. Hey, another thing from our recipe today. I'm gonna check this. Uh, I think uh, these are melted enough. Hmm. Yeah, so you're supposed to let it cool a bit, so I'm going to take this off the burner uh, while I finish uh, defining what they mean when they say flour. <laughs> Turn my burner off. Okay. So, uh, rolled oats, either quick cooking or regular, uncooked. Moist shredded coconut. Shredded coconut that's moist, either from a can or a package, or shredded fresh coconut. I've never seen coconut in a can. <laughs> that's another thing I don't know if they still do. But, as I mentioned in the last video, I don't really like coconut. So if coconut comes in a can, I just might not know. Um, but also, interestingly enough, last week's recipe called for moist coconut, and I didn't know what that was. I just got regular old coconut in a plastic bag. 
and it worked fine but um, when they are talking about moist coconut it looks like they want coconut in a can. Uh, baking powder. Any of the well-known nationally distributed brands of brands brands of double acting baking powder give good results with the recipes in this book. Eggs. Large fresh eggs. Two ounces or equivalent amounts from smaller eggs. And shortening. Any fresh mild flavored solid fat. Animal or vegetable such as those shown on the right. Vegetable, margarine, butter, lard. Butter is indicated in certain recipes for flavor. So that's the first page of terms. It's actually a few pages. I thought I would just do a page at a time, maybe. Um, there's so much information in this cookbook, which is awesome because uh, we can go through that too and not just do the recipes. Uh, today's recipe, like I said, super <laughs> simple. Can't get any easier than melting chocolate and mixing it with a uh, cereal. Um, but, you know, they won't all be that way. I'm actually a little worried about next week's recipe. It could even be my first failure. Like, really? My third recipe could be a failure. Um, but I don't know that. I don't know that. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> and I'll try for you to see but um, so now I just mix um, Wheaties in here and then put it on the parchment paper oh for two cups of Wheaties seven ounces of, of semi-sweet chocolate not as easy to coat as I thought they would be. But I'm getting there. Okay, well, that's probably good. to the paper to have a bit a
so I put them on the tray. Now I'm supposed to refrigerate them uh, so that they harden up. So I'm going to stick them in the fridge real quick. By refrigerating, I will read a few more terms. I'll read the next uh, the next page. Meaning of terms. Mustard. Dry mustard, ground mustard seed in powdered form. Or prepared mustard is a paste made from dry mustard, blended with vinegar, sometimes especially seasoned. Cheese. American cheddar cheeses, unaged, green, or aged. The greener cheese is mild, the aged cheese is sharper in flavor. It ranges from firm to crumbly in texture, from pale to deep yellow in color. White cream cheese of smooth, creamy consistency comes in three or eight ounce packages. Peppers, black pepper, ground from whole peppercorns. White pepper from peppercorns with the outer bark removed. Plain gelatin, plain unflavored gelatin. Each envelope contains one tablespoon. Flavored gelatin, gelatin with sugar, color, and flavoring added. I sure hope they don't have any gelled meat and vegetable dishes in here. <laughs> uh, mushrooms, two forms, canned or fresh. Both should be sauteed in butter before using. Coffee, the beverage, not unground, not uncooked ground coffee. Yeast, compressed yeast in cake form, keeps about two weeks in the refrigerator. Dry yeast in granular form, in packages, needs no refrigeration and keeps fresh for weeks. Mashed potatoes and potato water. Freshly mashed potatoes, no milk or seasoning, added potato water in water in which potatoes have been boiled rye flour flour made from rye usually blended with wheat flour to give it rising power whole wheat or gram flour the fine or coarsely ground kernels of wheat including bran germ and all cornmeal the coarsely ground kernel of corn either white or yellow cornmeal herbs garden fresh Dried, crushed, powdered. Must be fresh, full-bodied. Keep in tightly covered jar in a cold place. Replace when freshness is gone. So now I'm going to check on the Wheaties Tingling's. Oh wait, no, no I'm not. There was one more thing I wanted to read to you uh, with the Tingling recipe. Uh, one is just a variation that you could mix in peanuts, which I strongly considered, but it called for salted peanuts, and I just have plain dry roasted peanuts um, that I use to make peanut butter. So I didn't put the peanuts in because I wasn't sure if they would be good if they weren't salted. So that's one variation. Um, you can add peanuts. So if you use the peanuts, you would use one and a half cups of Wheaties and a half a cup of peanuts. And then they have a little tip, I guess you would call it. Um, it's not related to the recipe, but it is under the recipe. And this is um, all you have to do for hurry up popcorn. If you want to make hurry up popcorn, Melt in a heavy skillet two to four tablespoons of butter and then add four cups of Kix cereal or Cheerios cereal and sprinkle with a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix well, stir over moderate heat for five minutes and serve it like popcorn or salted nuts. So I guess that's what you do in the 50s when you don't have microwave for microwave popcorn. You make hurry up popcorn with your cereal. I might have to try it sometime. I'm not really sure if I think it sounds very appealing. I think the kicks would be better than the Cheerios. Uh, if you want me to try it, let me know and I will. Uh, it sounds easy enough. So 
Now I am going to check on the tingleings and see if they are hardened or not. Good to go. I'll put some, put them on a, on a plate. There they are. I'm going to try one. I have to say a chocolate covered weedy. I'm not sure. Probably won't be bad. Let me see. Honestly, it's quite a bit better than I thought. Almost like um, crispy rice covered chocolate. It's actually pretty good. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow this journey. You won't want to miss next week's. Um, I'm worried. It could be a failure. It could be fantastic. Certainly it's not as simple as melting chocolate and coating Wheaties with it. So you won't want to miss that. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.